Okay, hello. Today I'm going to teach you how to solve the Rubik's Cube using F2L. But only the intuitive part of F2L, not the algorithms. So basically, it's a quick way of solving the first two layers of a Rubik's Cube. And if you're good at it, it takes 20 seconds of your timing. Look, once you know it all, you'll have to practice a lot. So it basically builds up the first two layers by inserting the corners and the edges of the second layer at the same time rather than first of all solving all the corners and then all the edges. So let's scramble the cube then. Okay now first you'll have to start by getting the bottom cross. Now if you want to improve your time it's best to do this intuitively. I tell you how to do this on my tutorial on the beginner shortcuts on the Rubik's Cube. This is a link. So, go ahead and solve the cross, preferably intuitively. Okay, now one thing I haven't mentioned, which is of course obvious, is that you need to know how to solve the Rubik's Cube. And it is easy if you know uh, how to solve it using the keyhole method. The link is here. Just in case there are some cases that the corner is already inserted. So let's just start. I'm going to start by showing you the easiest and um, um, one of the most common cases, even though it's not the most common. It's a case when you've got the corner and it's corresponding edge like this so two and one two across one up or one down two across because they have to be this way and the two opposite colors are on it if you do not count the white because it's a bottom color so the two opposite green and red so what you need to do first of all is check if on the corner white is on the same side as this so I mean if this because what you're going to do is um, if the white is on the front you're going to move the front side if the white was on the right you're going to have to move the right side which means that if here um, white's on the front so I have to move it to the front side you c um, the edge is over here so you have to bring the edge here now to do this make sure there's an empty space here so you can put the corner away, put the edge in the right position and bring the corner back like this. Now place the corner um, in correct place so as it's a red and re green corner it has to go here because it's red, green and white. So place the corner here and now because white's on the front we move it to the front face anti-clockwise and it joins to make up a corner edge and then all you have to do is bring this one here because it then joins and bring it back down which solves the first one now I'm just going to try to find a case for you where um wait a minute where it's white on the right you have to move the right face. Um. Here, our next one is the same case. They're in the right position, and the two colors are different. So here, white's on the right. So basically, you put the corner in the right place because the edge is already. And then, because it's on the right, we move the right side. And now you move this one towards it to line it up and bring it down. Okay, now, here is a case, um, again, where white's on the front, and same case, and edges in the right place, so put the corner in the right place, move the front, because white's on the front, line it up, bring it down. There's one more to go, and here again, it's two of a different color, so on the white's on the right, 
So you move the right side, line it up, bring it down, and that solves the two sides.